hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be creating this um, simple component with the help of, um, of the swap bus feature. Um, we also see some uh, fillets, some holes, and a chamfer at the bottom of the flange. This is a 45 degree uh, angle chamfer. So, so let's begin. So let's create a new part. So before we continue, I always like to uh, check my drafting standards. So you click on options and then go to document properties. And then right here, you will select um, your drafting uh, standard. And then the unit uh, for this part is going to be in millimeters. Select OK. Um, or additionally, you can select the units at the bottom right corner. So let's take a look at uh, some dimensions that we need um, in order to create this, this component. Um, so the first thing we'll do is the pipe. So let's take a look at the front view. Um, we see the pipe is divided into three sections. The first section is 35 millimeters. Then we have the middle section um, with uh, a an arc dimension of 60 millimeters and then finally 35 millimeters. So we'll we'll use that information to create the pipe. So let's continue. So on the feature manager, uh, let's select the front plane, front plane and do a sketch. So we're just going to uh, roughly estimate the, the initial shape of the of, of the pipe. So now let's uh, give it some dimensions. This is 35. So now let's um, add some relationships. I want those two to be equal. Um, in addition to that, I want these two to be tangent to each other and the bottom as well. Uh, finally, we can select this and give it a dimension um, for the drawing this is 60 millimeters and we have a fully defined sketch so now we can exit so the next step is to create the uh, the pipe section for that we're just gonna select the the top plane and do a sketch and create the pipe so if you look at Going back to the drawing, uh, the pipe diameter is 20 millimeters. So we'll do 20 millimeters. And confirm. So now we are ready to create the Swap Boss uh, feature, which is located right here. Click on the Swap. Uh, the first option is for the uh, is for the profile, which is the circle, and the second box is for the path of that circle. So you can uh, create the shape. So uh, this pipe has a thickness of right here two millimeters. So we need to create that as well. So and we can do it right here. So if you go to thin feature, you can select your pipe thickness. Um, in here and um, so the overall diameter has to be 20 millimeters so we need to um, we need to make that thickness to go inwards as you can see so let's make that inwards so we have the we have created the pipe using the swept bus space um, next we need to create this this flange and we have the dimensions right here uh, the flange is 50 50 by 50 and it has a thickness of 10 millimeters and the thickness is going inwards so it, so we need to uh take a look at that um so let's select the bottom face and create a sketch select center rectangle and let's define this as 50. 
by 50. Now we can um, extrude this sketch. So the the extrusion is going outward, so we need to flip it with this arrow right here, and the thickness is 10 millimeters. Um, if you notice, uh, we need we need to provide a cutout in here uh, for the pipe, so we can um, we can just select the contours and it'll provide that for us. So we have created the um, the flange for the bottom section of the pipe. So now we need to uh, make um, four holes on that flange and um, the diameter of the holes are eight millimeters and, and those are spaced at 35 millimeters each. So we can select the bottom face and create a sketch. Um, we'll do a rectangle with the 35 millimeters distance. So this is the distance um, of the of the holes. Uh, since, since this is used for reference, we can just make this. You can just um, click on the inside of the of the square and um, select under options for constructions. So now we are ready to place the hole and the hole is eight millimeters each. So now we can um, extrude cut. The sketch is already selected so we can just, um, you can select through all or up to next. We'll do up to next for now. And that's our first hole. So if you remember, we need to create four holes. Um, for that, we are going to use the circular pattern. And um, and if you see here, the, the the hole is already selected. So we just need to select the, the, the pattern circle. So you just click on the inside circle of the pipe and it'll automatically populate with the four holes. Um, if you need any other uh, quantity of holes, you can just um, change it here on the direction command. So we need four and make sure this is at 360 degrees. So now we have created the holes at the, um, at the bottom of the, of the flange. So next, next we'll do um, Next, we need to create uh, some fillets. So we need a fillet uh, for the flange and the pipe connection and the um, and fillets on the actual flange. So the fillet dimension is five millimeters for the flange and also five millimeters for the connection portion. So, so we'll do the first one, fillet, fillet select fillet, and then um, select the, um, the edge of the pipe um, and change the dimension to five. So that's our first flange. Our next flange is on the, our next fillet is on the flange. Um, so let's go back here, select the, select the edge. And then right after you select the edge, you you get these uh, these other options here. So if you select the first one, which is connected to start loop, it'll automatically select the other four, the other three corners for you. So this is a uh, a quick way of uh, selecting all four. Um, you can do it one by one as well. And that's our um, creation of. Um, of the fillets. So finally, we need to create a 45 degree angle uh, chamfer at the bottom of the, of, the, of the flange. So for that, we'll select the chamfer command, which is under the fillet. Uh, select chamfer, select the edge that you want to uh, 
make the chamfer. And right here we said we said it was a uh, five millimeters, and then the angle was forty-five degree. And that's how you will create a a chamfer. So finally, on the um, if you want to uh, assign a color, you can just uh, double click on the on the on your preferred color on the task pane. So. And, and this concludes this uh, tutorial. Thank you for watching.